back at the Araneta Coliseum and uh, whenever we have coverage with the Dean Kenito Henson and uh, we always have the Dean's list. Let's talk about San Miguel Beer. They lost three in a row then they came back to win two straight. They're back in the groove. They need good perimeter coverage against Barangay Neba which is an excellent three-point shooting team. They need to limit their turnovers. They're second most turnovers in the league so they need to be able to make sure that they maximize their possessions, ignite the bonfire. Bernbon Custodio not starting in this no, game, no, but no, San Miguel Beer needs his slashing ability, his ability to break down the defense for them to be able to break down that uh, very, very tough uh, defense of Baranga Hinebra. Well, Custodio, one of the surprise rookies for this year as they call off the ball, and I think that's going to be Jay Washington, an offensive foul against Ronald Tubit. Now, we just talked about the turnovers of San Miguel Beer, they're averaging 22.4 turnovers in this conference. That's second most in the league. Right now, they've got four turnovers. He never only won. Valenzuela now also in the ball game to join Crisano. This is Helter Brand against Rasella. JJ sets it up with 10 on the shot clock. On the left side now, tipped away by Rasella from behind. <laughs> Early subs here for Barangay Nebra very clearly for Joseph Chico wants to make sure that he always has fresh legs on the floor. Well, uh, Coach Shotan Kinsen has also sent in a couple of his uh, troops from the bench as Mark Pingris and Nick Penisi have entered the fray. Crisano with the offensive rebound sets it up to Valenzuela. Fresh 24-second shot clock as Helter Brand sets it up once again. Very typical of Barangay Neva to slow down the pace, take advantage of quickness in the half court. Here's Valenzuela, gets a bump from Peña. No call there as San Miguel with possession once again, all tied up at nine. Fingers top of the key, 10 left on the clock. This is Tugade, hounded by Tubit. This is Lordy Tugade, his pass to Pingris with four on the shot clock. Somebody's got to shoot it. Pingris forces up the shot and oh, hits yes. it. A backbreaker shot for San Miguel Beer. Well, nobody planned that shot. Certainly not Mark Pingris, but he was up to the task. You know, when you've got players realizing the urgency of the moment, you've got guys like Mark Pingris who will rise to the occasion. This is Valenzuela against Pingris. And an offensive foul is called on Crisano here. Trying to set a screen off the ball. Well, let's take a look at a TM press by Paul Artadi. He used to not have that weapon from the three-point area. Now he does with some tutelage from Alan Kaidik. TM press neto hatid sa inyo ng TM. Power to the people. Benisi almost lost it. Custodio now in the ball game. Let's see if they can ignite the bonfire as part of the Dean's list. This is Custodio. Out to Penisi. Long jumper from the parking lot. And here's Tubid the win. Tubid hangs in the air. Nothing there. Tipped away. Siegel also in the ball game gets the rebound. Three players back down for Hinebra. This in is Custodio. And look at Custodio. Excellent transition defense by Barangay Hinebra, but you've got Bombo Custodio, the dead devil that he is, splitting the middle and making the shot. With that shot, Barangay Hinebra has called a timeout. We'll be right back. Here we go at the Araneta Coliseum, game number one of the quarterfinal showdown between Barangay Hinebra and the San Miguel Beermen. Jude, we were talking about the subs in this game so far for San Miguel. Only Tugade is left on the floor as a starter. Hard bump there, but you see Barangay Nebra working the ball close to the basket. Well, speaking of Barangay Nebra, they also have a list from the Dean. Well, we, talk, we talk about Barangay Nebra, you talk about controlling the tempo, which is key for this team. They need to challenge the defense, and it's exactly what Willie Wilson just did. They need to be aggressive going to the rim. They need to go to the line to get free throws because that gives them extra rest. This is a decimated lineup. Rafferty is not able to play. And then number two is they need to prevent the easy execution on the part of San Miguel. San Miguel happens to 
be the number one team in assists in this league. They're averaging 21.9 points. So no easy kickouts, no easy lob passes, no easy entry passes, or no easy pick and rolls. That's, that means you need to prevent the easy execution for San Miguel. And finally, keep the offense guessing. I think it's incumbent on coach Joseph Ishiko to keep a step ahead of Shotan Kinsen. Maybe play a little zone, maybe play a little man, maybe a man zone. Just keep the offense guessing. Well, here's the offense of San Miguel. Uh, that's a three-pointer from Nordi Pugade. It is now a six-point advantage for the Beermen. And San Miguel now playing with a loaded lineup. They've got excellent three-point shooters on the floor. Bonbon, bon, you've got Danny Siegel, Lordi Togade, and Nick Pinisi, who now has to play center. Valenzuela, back to Helterbrand. Helterbrand goes all the way inside. Unbelievable shot. shot. Well shot by J.J. Helterbrand and a steal by Wilson. Out to Helterbrand once again. Down by four. Custodio picks him up. Again, the two things we talked about. One for uh, Hineba challenging the defense. That's exactly what... J.J. Helterbrand did, and on the other end, preventing the easy execution on the part of San Miguel because of the transition defense, he never getting the steal. Well, that was a call on Billy Mamaril, uh, referee Balao, catching him on the illegal pick. Custodio now. With Tugadi, inside they go to Siegel against Wilson. The former MVP hangs in the air, draws the foul, hits the basket. That's going to be a tough matchup for Willie Wilson. Can Danny Siegel operating so well from that side of the floor? The talent level of San Miguel with Siegel now back in form is very scary. Here's Helterbrand. Look at this. Pips to do layup as he banks it home for Barangay Ginebra. And he wasn't even looking at the basket. Now Danny Siegel averaging 16 points in this conference and coming off a 16-point performance against Air 21. He's got that badge of courage underneath his uh, right eye, courtesy of the elbow from Alvin Santos in that two-or-die game. They kick it out. Helterbrand open for three. In and out once again. Kabato the offensive rebound. Double team. Kicks it out to Helterbrand. Fresh 24. Helterbrand fouled from behind by Custodio. And you see the extension of San Miguel's defense. Way, way outside. Very aware, very conscious of the fact that Barangay Nebra is such an explosive three-point shooting team. So Wilson out to Valenzuela, 19 for a bucket. Nice play from the inbound. The lead down to five as Siegel once again goes up against Wilson. They swing it to Custodio, Helterbrand right there on defense, Bonbon bon. trying to find room and does. Unbelievable points. Oh, the bonfire is certainly ignited very early in this game. On the second field goal, four points for Bonbon bon Custodio, nice left-handed layup. You know, they're calling the bonfire a miniature version of Sam Boy Lim. Every time he has the ball, the crowd already sensing something explosive is going to happen. Billy Mamarel, a nice 17-footer. From the left elbow. And an offensive foul this time on San Miguel. That's going to be on Lordi Tugare trying to elude the defender. Second personal foul, so he'll be replaced by Don Don Monteveros. And uh, let's take a look at our KFC assist delivery of the quarter. It's Paul Artadi to Ronald Tubit. Magpa delivers so a KFC, just dial 887 8888. KFC, it's finger looking good. Here's Valenzuela, tries a three-pointer, and he bricks it, and he gets it back. That did not hit the rim, so the shot clock is down to seven. Here's Valenzuela, splits the defense, missed the shot. Oh, but Valenzuela forcing the jump on Antiveros. Incidentally, Escalona checking in for J.J. Helderbrand. And that's going to be quite a, ma a match in the backcourt. At point guard position, you've got Bonbon bon Custodio very quick. And Maki Escalona probably just as quick. Well, Bonbon bon Custodio is, certainly was not a point guard back in college at UE. And he has had to learn to become a point guard, especially with the injuries of that's San Miguel to their point guard. Exactly. Jonas Villanueva not able to play because of a shoulder injury. And of course, uh, Mike Cortez. 
A traveling violation here for Junti Valenzuela. You know, that's a problem when you hold on to the ball too long. You have a tendency.